Universal Control was added with macOS Monterey 12.3 and iOS 15.4 in early spring of 2022. It allows us to use one Mac to control another iPad or another Mac with the same input device and keyboard. So in this instance, I'll be able to control this iPad with the trackpad and keyboard here on the MacBook Pro. Before showing off what Universal Control can do, let's go over some requirements. Here's the current list of compatible Macs and iPads. For Universal Control to work, you'll need two or more of these devices or newer ones. The devices also need to be logged into the same Apple ID, which we can see here. Both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth need to be activated on both devices, and App Handoff needs to be turned on. Handoff can be found in the General Preference pane on a Mac or in General Settings on an iPad. So with the iPad nearby, I'm ready to activate Universal Control. If I move my cursor to the right edge of the Mac's display, it's going to automatically move over to the iPad. Notice on the iPad the cursor is not an arrow but a circle. Click to launch an app. And within any text field, I can now use the MacBook Pro's keyboard to type. Notice that I can pinch to zoom in or out on the trackpad, and it will work on the iPad display. Use a four-finger swipe up to jump into the app switcher on the iPad. If I launch files, I'm able to click and drag to select a few image files here, and then I can just drag and drop those over to the Mac. I can drop these into a folder or into an app on the Mac. We're also able to drag and drop from the Mac to a folder or compatible app on the iPad. From Display Preferences, click the Universal Control button for a few options. First, we can uncheck this box to disable Universal Control. When you upgrade to macOS Monterey 12.3, this is going to be automatically turned on. The next checkboxes will let us automatically connect to a nearby Mac or iPad. I found that leaving these on is the best option. Activating Universal Control manually has been glitchy in my experience. Universal Control is different than Sidecar, which allows us to add an iPad as a second display for a Mac. That can be done from the Add Display menu down here. With the iPad now extending the display of this Mac, its interface is removed, and I'm able to view the Mac's dock and move windows over to the iPad's display. We can quickly jump back into Universal Control from the Add Display menu by linking the keyboard and mouse to the TMU iPad. So Universal Control lets us use the iPad and its apps with the Mac's keyboard and trackpad. Sidecar simply extends the Mac's display. For more about using Sidecar, as well as Mac display preferences, take a look at the macOS Core Concepts tutorial.